So I think that for this next part, link building is going to be one of the biggest things. Uh, just gonna say it now, link building is really one of the biggest contributing factors for who really is on top and who isn't. Um, I mean, you can basically rank anything with the proper links, but that also doesn't mean that there aren't other contributing factors that do separate people with a little bit more of the, the marginal specific differences, but we're still focusing on some big picture things. One of those things without a doubt is the content marketing strategy. So at first glance, it's probably relatively difficult to kind of know the extent of content on some people's websites. So for example, here's the website that we're kind of focusing on from our initial keyword. It was Houston criminal defense attorney. Uh, that's not even what their homepage is optimized for. That, that was ranking extremely high just as a landing page for their specific page, which, you know, at first glance, um, I can't really tell how many pages they have, right? So, you know, they have a lot of attorneys. <laughs> you, can, you can tell that. Um, you don't need to really do too much math to know that's well over 50, but um, they probably have a ton of content as well. I mean, I can't click necessarily on Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, San Antonio, and the numerous other cities that they have office locations at, um, at first glance. So one of the best ways to do that is really look at people's site maps. So that's actually one way. I'll, I'll show you another way, but this is a quick way to really know what's going on on the website. So they have seven site maps. They actually have one for their attorneys, which makes sense because as I mentioned, uh, they have well over 50, they actually have 81. Um, or they have um, about the 50 that I mentioned or 60, but they didn't remove some of these pages. But one of the biggest things that we're gonna look at, I love this personally because um, I put a huge emphasis on geospecific pages. Um, that's the whole strategy of creating numerous pages for areas that you serve and optimizing them appropriately so you can show up for geo search terms all over the place. But that's probably another video. To start, we really want to know these guys are on top. They're there for a reason. They must have a pretty robust content marketing plan. Let's see what it looks like. So to start posts, evidently their posts are not located under a post sitemap. Uh, we'll double check that at some other point. They do have tons and tons of pages. So you can see 63 here. Um, I'm assuming that AZ means that they actually, well, it says right there. They did set up some Arizona pages. They set up a bunch of geo pages here for Texas. So let's see what their geo um, strategy looks like then here. So, okay, so they only did one page there. They have a resources. Um, that is probably for something specific. You can see here that they do have some geo pages for where they have offices, and then they have um, this redirects here. So the interesting thing is that there, there was something for posts, um, but I'm not sure exactly where it's located. Here are the links you know, to some of the geo pages. Um, I think that we saw it from their sitemap before. So if I'm not finding their posts necessarily here through via their sitemap, so another thing you can do is simply type in site colon and then the URL, and then they have 258 results. So that's another way you can kind of go through and see the other pages that are indexed on their website. And I believe from looking at their content strategy, I'm sorry, their backlink strategy is actually, they actually have um, another website that they might have all their blogs on. And that's the reason that there's that major amount of redirecting because this is uh, Dunham Law and this is DunhamJones.com. Let's just take a peek at that website and, and see what's going on over there. Because this is a separate URL that does a lot of redirecting. So you can see that this website does exist, but when you click through, it actually leads to the other website. So looking at this site map, which actually might have a ton of the content well, that I won't be able to see here. Um, you would typically like look at a website like this and, and be able to see how they're doing the redirecting, but that's getting a lot of messy. It's getting a little bit messy, I mean. So let's go to the homepage or the first page of Google. Let's look at someone else and then let's start from here and actually look at what that looks like. So this is um, pretty extensive. You can see blogs. So if you wanted to know how many blogs they have, that's 72. If you wanted to see easily, 
all the topics. Of course, you can kind of go in by that. They have a lot of eBooks. So if you're wondering, you know, are these guys engaging in eBooks? And it's like, yeah, well, they have 53 uh, pages that are evidently dedicated to that. And I want to see what one looks like. And uh, that's interesting. I don't necessarily know what the purpose of this page is being ebook court process, state court process. That seems a little muddled, but you know, using this kind of strategy, you can see how involved the people at the top or they're um, having a lot of success with their rankings, not only from a backlinking standpoint, but also from a content standpoint. And it's not always going to be forward slash sitemap.xml. Sometimes it's going to be HTML. Uh, so it won't be that for that one. Sometimes they don't even have one. And there's always that possibility. But more times than not, they will. And let's just look at one more example because I want to show one example of let's see, we're going back to Houston. Now we're going to talk about criminal lawyers. Someone that's on the first page that is pretty, pretty nice. Like a good website. Uh, you know, they have locations all over the place. Um, of course, you just saw they show up on the first page. Um, and if we were to look at their sitemap, they're using um, it's used with this sitemap. And we'll be able to see posts. Posts are typically where you see their blogging strategy. Okay. And then we can see from this that that's very intense. So They've been blogging on a pretty regular basis for quite some time. Actually, well, not back then, but there is content on there from a long time ago. But ever since the start of this year, you know, they've done 16 blogs in 2020. They did 126, which means that's roughly um, one every three days or so. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty consistent. And you can see, you know, all the topics. You can export this and you can see what all the different um, topics that you might want to emulate. And from here, you can go through and you can see the, how much effort and time they put into it. And it looks like that probably is quite a bit. And then as far as pages go, you'll see that it's uh, significantly less, but um, there are dedicated pages for like Waco and Sherman and San Antonio and Beaumont. And yeah, it's just a, it's good to kind of compare your strategy and, and your efforts content relative to those that are doing quite well. So that's what I look for as far as content marketing goes.